This is an example of a retentive timer. Retentive timer on. And you see here we have the same time base as we've always had. The preset's at 100, so that equals 10 seconds. The accumulation value is currently at 0. This timer does have an enable bit, a done bit, and a timer timing bit, just like the other two timers we've talked about. But a retentive timer does not re reset itself to zero when it goes false or when it goes true, like the other two timers did. You have to create a reset for that particular timer. Now this is T4 colon 2. Notice here is its timer timing bit tied to the red light. The done bit is tied to the green light. And the enable bit is tied to the yellow light. So activate switch zero. And looking at switch zero, you could see that the timer's incrementing as I'm holding in switch zero. Now when it reaches the preset value, the done bit goes true, the timer timing bit goes false, but the enable bit is still true because I'm still holding in switch zero. I'll now release that switch. You can see our done bit stays on and these don't change. The accumulation value does not reset itself to zero. I could cycle this switch all day, cycling the enable bit, but I cannot reset that timer until I activate switch one, which is tied to the reset. I'll now enable that switch, and when I release, you could see that we are now set to zero. One more time, we're timing, so the timing bit is true. We're enabled, so we're true. The done bit will go true when we reach 100. And our timer timing bit is false. When I release the switch, now the enable bit goes false. Now the other thing to note about this timer is if I stop timing, notice that it remembers or retains memory on its count. I'll activate it again, and it'll continue to count upwards until it's false. When it's not receiving a signal, now you can see that it's holding that memory. So this is a great way to maybe look at how long has a motor been running and uh, create a signal to tell maintenance personnel to grease the motor.